Well, last week I posted a video to YouTube of me uncasing my new red cedar baritone ukulele from Mainland Ukulele in Nashville, Indiana. Uh, and I mentioned that I would post a weekly progress report as I learned how to play this. Um, now, I have to admit, I, I, I am a guitar player. I'm finding it more difficult to play that with my arthritis and stuff, so I thought I'd switch to a ukulele. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So this is my first week's progress report. Now, as guitar players, uh, you automatically learn um, the notes along the fretboard of the E and the A strings because you're, you're learning chords. When you learn bar chords, here's a, a G chord. You're learning that this is the G note. Here's an A chord. Here's an F sharp minor. This is the root note. That's the F sharp. Down here, you've got your B minor. You have to... Your C, your D. So we're we're familiar what the notes are on the fretboard on the bass strings. And then if you know the E string down here, you're gonna know what those notes are here too. That's E, F, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Just like oh, so it's these strings that we aren't as familiar with, at least I'm not as familiar with. So I'm going to take this opportunity with the ukulele to become more familiar with those notes uh, on the fretboard for those strings. So knowing the notes along the fretboard of the E and A bass strings of a guitar are going to do you absolutely no good with the ukulele because those strings are not there. However, we do know, we did learn the, the e, high E string are the same notes as the low E string up here, which were E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So it's going to be these strings, the D, G, and the B strings that I'm going to be, at least I am, going to be most unfamiliar with in terms of what those notes are. And one good way to learn the names of notes on the guitar, on the uh, ukulele or the guitar is to learn some scales. Now, it was suggested to me that before you learn your fa first scale, uh, to learn this little exercise. Because uh, when you're going to be playing scales and when you're going to be playing lead licks when you learn some scales eventually, you're going to need to be, whatever the first finger is on, then the next fret is the second finger, next is the third finger, and the next is the fourth. So this little exercise, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two. And just practicing that over and over again, because those fingers are going to need to be assigned to frets. One, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two. And you're going to want to practice that so you get faster at that. And then that will help when you start to learn your scales. So the first scale we're going to learn is the C major scale. And it's the major scales of any key that go by this scheme, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. We all learn that. So for the, for example, the C scale. C, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now that's the C major scale on the G string. Well, those eight notes, it'd be hard to play any lead licks or anything like that on that one string. So we're going to redistribute those eight notes on these three strings here, on the G and the B 
and the E. And then, so those notes here will be assign fingers to that. One, three, I'm sorry, one, three, on the G string, one, two, four, on the B string, and one, four, three, four, on the E string. So for the frets, it's five, seven, five, six, eight, five, seven, eight, eight, seven, five, eight, six, five, seven, five. And the notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, B, A, G. Practice that scale like you're like you're gonna practice this thing while you're doing nothing in front of the TV. You're gonna do the same thing with this C scale. It was also suggested to me that I learn this little flamenco scale in this open position up here. Um, that goes like this. So those notes are on the D string, E, on the G string, G sharp or A flat to A, on the B string, open B, C, D, and on the E string, open E, F, and G. And be sure and put the proper fingers there too. Remembering that this is the one, the two, the three, and the four. So this scale will adhere to the fretwise. Two, one, two, open, one, three, open, one, three. Finger-wise, it will be second finger, first finger, second finger, open, first finger, third finger, open, first finger, third finger. So practice that over and over again. That will help with getting your dexterity down, your accuracy. Also, um, you'll want to try to play that faster and faster and even more accurate each time. Practice makes perfect. Something else you can do um, besides just practicing scales and practicing your little exercises, the, the kind of stuff that will drive you crazy, um, I suggest you go to YouTube and look for... Uh, something within your realm that you feel you might be able to learn. There's lots of people out there trying to teach you different things. This is one I found, uh, a guy by the name of 80 from We Happy Few taught me this little baritone 12-bar blues thing to a nice finger-picking pattern that he taught me. thing I'm going to be doing before I report back to you on my next progress report is to continue learning chords on the ukulele. Um, uh, I like to, my approach to learning chords is to learn chords according to the songs I want to learn. So for example with uh, the song Blowing in the Wind, 
uh, that only has three chords. D, G, A. Another song I like to use as an example is Brain Damage. Um, I like to Travis pick, and I'll be Travis picking on the baritone uke as well. In fact, I, I, I teach this song in one of my YouTube um, posts that I do. I do a lot of Travis picking teaching for ukulele and the guitar, so if you want to look those up, but for, for Brain Damage, and this is actually the way that Roger Waters plays it with Travis picking. to learn chords as I go along for songs that I'm trying to learn as well. That's my approach to learning chords. So tune in next week. We're going to uh, practice our Travis picking. We're going to tra practice that C major scale. We're going to practice that little flamenco scale. We're also going to practice that little 12 bar blues in E that uh, I showed you. And next week, we'll see if we do any better. We'll see if I find a ukulele player where I get some real guidance and we can make some real progress reports then, every week or maybe every month. We'll see. Until then, thanks for tuning in. See you.